Hello, I'm Dani. Welcome to the workshop. Today I'm with a hat specially because of your series, but don't expect this anytime. We're talking today about segment three of Certified SolidWorks Professional Exam. It's focused on assemblies, and in this video I will show you everything that you should know to pass this segment. For the professional exam, segment three, you will have to work with assemblies. For this kind of exam, you should be able to create assembly from part. That's why I will start from this part here and go to File, Make Assembly from Part. Now we have a new assembly with our part inserted. I will save this assembly. And now I will have to insert all other required components. Now when I have all the components for this assembly, I should, of course, assemble them together. You will need different mates, so you should be familiar with all the different mates in SOLIDWORKS assembly. Now, in case like this, you should be familiar also with other option in the SOLIDWORKS assembly. And this is to isolate two components. And 
and now just to avoid some troubles again we will isolate this too Now, before I make the final mate between this and this part, I would like to show you how to make interference detection. You go to the Evaluate tab, and here you have this option. You can either check for the whole assembly, or you can clear the selection and pick the components in between you want to check. And then you just hit calculate. As you can see here, we have interference, and the other is here the thread. The thread is not a problem, but this, if we are going to manufacture this part, will be a problem. So we have to modify our assembly. Now we can make the check again. And the only one that is left is here the thread, which is normal. So here we can just say ignore. This means our assembly at this stage is OK. And we can assemble the final part. So now we have our assembly ready. This is actually my microphone from HyperX. It's really cute looking, so I decided to use it for this tutorial. The next thing that you will, you will be required to do during the exam, this is to move or rotate component with collision detection. So. The microphone has some restrictions in the movement around this part. You go to assembly. In my case, I will rotate component. When you go there, you have free drag or you can choose about entity or by delta X, Y, Z. Then you have options standard drag, collision detection and physical dynamics. We need the collision detection. Check between all bodies. And then you have an option stop at collision but here I will also check dragged part only because if you, this is unchecked and you start moving the part actually you won't be able to move anything you will receive a warning message if there is other part which is already in collision so it won't let you go uh, do the movement uh, additional option we have to highlight the faces that are colliding to hear a sound and to ignore complex surfaces also you can check only for this configuration i have only one configuration so there is no problem then you click the part you want to move and start dragging and you will see at some point it will stop 
and it has highlighted the faces that are colliding. So this is the end point of our movement and we won't be able to move any further because stop at collision is marked. Another thing that you will be required to do during the segment three exam is to create a coordinate system in assembly and use this coordinate system for mass properties. To make a coordinate system, you need a 3D or 2D sketch on any place in the assembly which you find comfortable. I will make a new sketch here. You need two lines. Then you can exit from your sketch. We go to reference geometry, coordinate system. You have to pick a point, which will be the midpoint of your coordinate system. As you can see, by default, it makes it oriented with our standard coordinate system. Then this is why you need the sketch to pick X axis and Y axis. You can switch the orientation. And this is our new coordinate system. We can hide now the sketch. At the moment it's not visible to view go to view high show and mark coordinate systems now when we have this coordinate system we should uh, make mass property evaluation based on this coordinate system as you can see here in this area is written report coordinate values relative to default to default means your standard coordinate system which is of the assembly to choose another one just go here on the drop down menu and pick the one that you have created and want to use and all the values update with this coordinate system and the last thing that you should be able to do with assemblies for the professional exam this is to replace a component with other component. In this case, I will replace the stand with another component. So you click on the component that you want to change, then go to File, Replace, Browse for the new one. I will choose the tripod adapter. Here you have reattach mates if some things of the part are similar you can reattach the mates so now because the stand is not here anymore this mate which is highlighted in purple we can just delete delete or isolate but these are mates that we don't need now the mates that we are interested in now are the ones here. You have to check if they are correctly mated. It has detected the similar geometry and has reattached all the mates. This is correct. Also just have a look here which is with mark with OK. They are probably OK so you can just click OK. And as you can see, the stand is replaced with this new part. So this is all you have to know to pass segment three of Certified SolidWorks Professional Exam. Please show me your love with like on the video or subscribe for the channel. See you next time. Bye.